Thank you for joining me here. This piece is titled Scarlet and it's a dirty cup ring pour. It is inspired by the amazing Mina Villegas. I saw this technique first done on her channel. Not sure if anyone else has done it before or if she's the creator of it. I really don't know. She's the only one that I have seen do it. And I had a very particular plan for this painting. And I thought back to what I had seen her achieve in the video that I had seen her do this technique in. And I thought this would be the perfect technique for what I was aiming to accomplish. So if you're intrigued by this, go ahead, please, and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate you giving a thumbs up. It really helps boost the algorithm which helps other people find out about my channel and maybe learn something here within this amazing genre. So I'm sure that they would appreciate that too if my video happens to be suggested to them and if it helps them in some way. So thank you for being a part of that for others as well as for this channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So this piece was originally planned to actually be my piece for that 4th of July collaboration. I'm not going to reveal what I was originally intending to do with it because I'm just not going to reveal what the parameters of that collaboration are at this time. You can find out at the collaboration itself and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. We will be doing premieres so that you can chat with all of the artists live at the time our videos premiere. So make sure you get the times correct so that you can be there to interact with each of us. We would love to get to talk to you. We all enjoy interacting with people who enjoy watching our content. And it's, it's very uh, fulfilling for us and very enjoyable. So definitely please join us live when we are there. We will love to have those little chats with you. And look, there you see me twirling that center. I learned that from Mina. At some point soon, I'm going to show you the last ring pour that I ever did before I had seen Mina reveal that technique. Well, I don't know. She may have revealed it before the video I saw, but it was the first time I saw it anyway. And I still have the painting that was the last painting I did before I saw her do that. And I have never had a bad middle in a ring pour ever again. Yes, all right. So Mina has helped a lot of people. So has Sarah Mack and Kathleen Osmore. I mean, of course, there are so many artists out there that many of us have been inspired by, that we've learned things from, and whom we appreciate and have found great value in. And so here you see me tilting this paint and it caught me by surprise a little bit because this is the first time that I've done a ring pour with the paints mixed a little bit more thinly compared with normal consistency for a normal ring pour. And so even though I went into this, of course, knowing that my paints were a little bit thinner, I just sort of went into the automatic pilot mode of stretching out a ring pour. My eyes were seeing a ring pour puddle. So my muscle memory was sort of expecting that familiar feel of what it's like to tilt the canvas with paint with that consistency on it. So it threw me a little off guard when the paint just started moving much more quickly than I was used to. But you know what? So much of this genre is a lot about just doing it and experiencing what the feel is like. We can certainly learn by watching those that we admire. And that is tremendously helpful. Absolutely. I wouldn't be painting today if it weren't for Sarah Mack in particular, and then Mina Villegas, and then others from there came in to greatly shape what I do now. But honestly, I had actually quit attempting to work within this genre after trying for about one, and, one year and a quarter, one and a quarter years, I attempted this genre. And all I had seen up until then was flip cups and all the paints were mixed with silicone. And I was not getting results that were good at all for over a year. And I had quit. So I'm going to tell that whole story at some point. And I would actually not be in this genre today if it were not for Sarah Max. So I will be telling that story down the line, not too far from here, actually.
Jesus in the flesh and the truth of that. And I love it. That's like my favorite part about the Sermon on the Mount is the warning to people of the meaning of bitterness and offenses and bad things that might happen to us. Thanks for being here. I hope my talking has been helpful. Okay, then, of course, we have Steve Hackett. And I said that last week, and I didn't mean to do that. I meant to say my name last week. So that I know that's what I said. So hi, Ruby. Hi, Steve. Hi. Go ahead and go down here, not too far from here. And um, and so you see this painting stretch out. So this was an originally going to be the backdrop for what I was going to do for my 4th of July collaboration piece. It's just that, look at that. It was so beautiful. I just didn't have the heart to do what I was going to do next. And so I knew in this moment in time that this was not going to be my collaboration piece because I had to just leave this alone. Let me know in the comments below if you agree, if you would have left this alone as well. And just ahead is the close-up results of this piece. And I might just go ahead and give you some kind of an idea as to what I originally intended for this piece during my 4th of July collaboration video. So again, make sure you come and check that out if you'd like to know what I was originally going to do with this piece when I started it. Now remember, for the collaboration, there's a lot of amazing, amazing artists. There's Donna by It's Art by Donna, Mina Villegas, Sarah Mack, Kathleen Osmore from Cause Creations, Maida from Maida Pores, Cindy from Cynthia Porter Studio, and yours truly. That's right. Of course, I'll be there too. So I'm looking forward to seeing. And again, all of the information to the artists and their channels is below in the description. See you there.